What is it? Uh oh. Uh, there's no way that thing could. What? What? Do you... What? Nobody texts like this. Hey everybody, and welcome to not another Roblox adventure. This time we are going back to the creepy text stories because I really enjoy doing these, and you guys seem to enjoy them too. This one that we're doing today is called the Watcher. And I think that might mean that there's uh, going to be some sort of watching going on. <laughs> and by that, I mean stalking. There's probably going to be stalking involved in this story. And it opens up with, Dad, are you in your bedroom? So I guess I am going to be playing as the daughter, Chloe. <laughs> I'm going to be okay, guys. My name's Chloe for this video. Whenever you refer to me in the comments, I want you to refer to me as Chloe. Just for this video, though. Don't make this a thing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Dad, what's up? Are all the doors in the house locked? Um, I don't know. Why does it matter, Dad? Why are you bothering me? Aren't you downstairs? No. Okay, Dad, you're not being very, like... You just should really disclose more information because you're not leaving Chloe very much to work with here. If I'm listen to me very carefully, okay, never mind. He is actually. I take back what I just said. He's he obviously has something he needs to say. Look out your window. I don't like the backdrop for this story. It makes things a lot creepier than they have to be. Is there a man down there? Oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> that escalated incredibly quickly. Uh, you're scaring me. What's going on? Hold on, let me do it in the voice. Dad, you're scaring me. What's going on? Please just look. Uh, oh my god, Dad, what is that? Don't take your eyes off him, Chloe. Oh, jeez. What do you mean, him? Who is this guy? Now I want to know. And if he texts you, do not answer. Promise me. Oh, we're going to be getting texts from some dude. What? Why would it text me? It's Why are you saying it? It's a human being. He has emotion and feeling. Unless he's a sociopath, and that's probably why he's stalking you. Promise me. Okay, but if you're not here, how do you know it's out there? Dad? That's not important. Okay, actually, it is kind of important. That's a pretty good question now that I think about it. Because what if it? What if the thing? Okay, here is my, my, my what my what what I'm what, like my what, what's it called prediction? <laughs> Why couldn't I think of prediction? Here's my prediction for this story: is that the dad is actually. The, the the person that was texting her this whole time was pretending to be her dad. I could be very wrong on that one, though. I'm really just winging it here. What matters is that you keep him in your sight. As long as you're looking at him, he can't move. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Dad, you're an idiot. I'm going to the safe room. No. Why not? It's not safe. Then don't call it a safe room. Do you know what? Do you know how hard it is to text and watch it? <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to text and drive, Dad? Do you know how hard it is to text and watch a TV show at the same time? Well, you know what, Chloe? With all those multitaskings that you've been doing in the past, this should not be that hard. You're giving your father a very hard time right now. So stop texting. Okay, just watch it. I'm on my way home now. I don't understand any of this. That would be so creepy to just be home and then you just have to watch something. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, well, the dad seems pretty genuine. You just have to trust me. I do, but that thing, I know it's scary, sweetheart. No, it's... I looked away for a second and it's gone. Ha uh, are you sure? Uh, I, am, am I sure there's not a, a disgusting, horrific monster staring up at me from the edge of the forest right now? Pretty positive. Am I sure there's not a disgusting, horrific monster? Okay, it's like it was saying, because it, it was just a man. See, I thought, I thought he said that there's just a man outside. Now she's saying a disgusting, horrific monster. It's not gone. It's inside the house. It can't be. I looked away for less than a second. I would have seen it crossing the yard. You don't know this thing. And you do? I want answers, Dad. Right 
now. <laughs> How old is Chloe supposed to be in this story? Because I'm making her out to be like, like I, I, I don't know, like some, like a 13-year-old girl that is in a very bad mood. I mean, I guess she would be in a really bad mood because there's something staring at her at the side of her house. So that probably makes sense. Not until you're safe. I am. I checked all the doors. They're locked and the alarm is on. So what is this about? Why didn't you call me? I can't call. I'm on the train. There are people around me. Why does that? Yeah, what does that matter? What if there's some? If your daughter is a, if someone is staring at your daughter, if there's a actually someone in the same house as your daughter, who cares that there's people around you? Why wouldn't you just call her? Maybe he's about to explain. If I'm in danger, call me. I'm sorry, I can't. This none of this is being explained. That I'm calling 911. Okay, I already have. Where are they then? On their way, I promise. This is, this is getting fishy. I don't know about this dad now. He's a little bit sketchy in this whole story. I can't believe this. Just hang in tight. I'm with you. You're not. And why didn't you tell me? <gasps> oh, whatever the dad says, I'm with you. He's actually, oh my goodness me. I know what this is. It's that the man that was staring at her is was the, the the that the my my original theory is that the dad is not actually her real dad texting her right now that has to be it it has to be it has to be uh why didn't you tell me and we're and you you were going to the city what why else would you be on a train wait just hang in tight i'm with you and why didn't you tell me you were going to the city why else would you be on a train unless you went to the penthouse to see mom I wanted to talk to her about the divorce. Oh, we're getting some layers in this story now. Ho oh, ho, it is no longer just a spook, it's a drama. Wow, here we go. But she wouldn't see me. Oh God. What? What is it? I just heard something slam. Ooh, actually, I don't know what I would do if I was her in this situation. I would honestly have no idea. I would just feel like you would just have to stay put, wouldn't you? It's because you wouldn't want to go and check on it. I would probably try to find something to use as a weapon. That's really just the the most I could do. I just heard something slam. A door? No, I think it was a body. What is it? Uh-oh. Uh, there's no way that thing could... What? What? Do you, what? Nobody texts like this. <laughs> you would. You would have to be putting a lot more in than that. Get in through the... There's no way that thing could get in through the chimney, right? It's way too big. It can do things you can't imagine. What is this? I thought it was a man they were talking about. Isn't that what happened at the beginning of the at the beginning of the story? That's what I thought. How do you know? How do you know, Dad? Just get out of the house. Run to the neighbors. Oh no, but then it's gonna turn into hello neighbor, and then he's gonna be trying to capture her. That's a mile away. That thing will run me down in a heartbeat. So now we know that they're not they don't live in the city because that's where the dad took a train to they live out in the country and that's why there's the forest surrounding them and stuff okay i hear it coming i'm going to the safe room it's not a safe room no you can't chloe it's not a safe room i don't know why we call it a safe room if you can't use it as a safe room and then what's about to happen i don't know nothing is i'm done listening to you until you start explaining all right your sister was kidnapped from that room. Um, what are you talking about? I want to know what he's talking about, actually. You had a sister. What? Before you were born. That thing came into our house and it took her from the safe room. Is this some sort of joke? No, Chloe, I'm dead serious. Now, please get out of the house. Why? It's a mansion. Oh, they live in a mansion. Oh, good for them. Haven't they done well? There are 40 rooms. Lots of secret hiding spots. I told you. It knows all the secret hiding spots because it is her sister. It's been there before. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's not her sister. I have no idea now at this point. It knows the house. So do you, Dad. So do you. Does that mean that? And you could never find me. When we played hide and seek, that's where I'm going. My top secret hiding spot. Okay, but don't tell me where. Don't tell him where. Don't tell him where. 
Why not him? Just go there. Why can't it? Why can't it read our texts? I'm not sure, but somehow it knows things. Things no one should know. No one should know Chloe's secret hiding spot. It's too crazy. <laughs> Anyways, it always has. You said earlier it might text me. Does that mean it's human? It's not human. Oh, but it lies and deceives like only we can. Interesting. It can be unimaginably cruel and it will use any means to get to you. Then it should have, and by this point, it should have easily been able to get to her then. Why? I don't know. I you, you seem to know a lot about it, except why it wants your children. See, maybe the dad... I don't know if I, like, stand on my, that same idea that the dad is actually the the one that's the the, the 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 bad man the alien thing apparently it's an alien at this point or maybe not an alien he just said that it's not human i don't know anyways i told you it's cruel crueler than you not telling me i had a sister it was 15 years ago a year before you were born so now we have discovered that she is 14 i wasn't that off i was i was making her to seem to be like a 13 14 year old girl you know, yeah that's pretty good that's pretty accurate okay here we go i can't believe mom never told me i was her it was her idea not to what why because it wasn't her daughter oh i had another wife what before i married your mom what chloe chloe are you all right how can i be okay everything you say is a lie no one lied to you we just never told you i'm getting sick of asking why <laughs> <laughs> because my first wife killed herself. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh geez. This is taking quite the turn. That thing took our daughter. It drove my wife insane. Uh, okay. So this is now I, I'm and I, I might have followed her. Uh, had it not been for your mom, she saved me from that nightmare, and she wanted to spare you from it, too. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is right. My goodness. I know it was a terrible time, but we got past it. Oh, wait. No, I mean, Jesus, I think it may have found me. Stop texting. Oh, my goodness. Me? <laughs> well... Ladies and gentlemen, The Watcher Part 2. Should we go- should we go to Part 2? Should we go to Part 2? Should we take a little dabble? <gasps> or maybe, just maybe, ladies and gentlemen, maybe we're gonna have to wait till next time, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like us to return to the creepy text stories. And one more thing that I actually completely forgot to do for my past few videos, so we might as well do it right now, is ladies and gentlemen, the kitty of the day, which is this pretty kitty sitting beside some pretty flowers that are just as pretty as the cat, and it's sitting on the windowsill. Beautiful, just beautiful. But oh, the next kitty day is also really cute. You have to wait though. You have to wait for that one. It's like a little tease that I like to do. Anyways. I can't get over Jerry. Look at him. Jerry, you're 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 definitely something, you know that? <coughs> He's a good guy. Jerry's a good guy. Anyways, though, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I would like to thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave it a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, though, I will see you guys in the next one.